Ten. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this uh, 23rd day of May. We're looking at Monday, we're looking at the Dow 312 points, that's 31,563. Made a low of 3,000, I mean this is incredible, so 30,600 and was it 20? Let me just get that exactly right, yeah, uh, 3,000, sorry, 30,635 um, Friday. Uh, early afternoon and then suddenly saw that exact just a fabulous rebound and what we have is a, a fifth Chapman wave Roman candle let's see if this one can last more than the three days two days that it's had before um, if this is able to last and the Dow holds at least through the close after any dip that should start any minute now um, we'll see what happens but this is a very good start to a turnaround, and I'll explain why during my show, the target conditions are in a moment. The S&P is up 15 at 3917. It was much higher. It hit 3810. Uh, whoops, no, no, no. Yes, it was 3810 on Friday. And uh, so that's a huge move, 3810 to 3948. So you can expect some kind of digestive phase in the next uh, hour or two. QQQ, index 100, now down 60, uh, 50 cents. Uh, 288.28, uh, struggling, having a tough time, but we'll see what happens because that turnaround on Friday uh, did include some stocks that won't be important uh, to any rally coming on if it's later today. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, that is down 20 cents at 175.91, still struggling somewhat. And if you're looking at gold, gold had a very nice up move. It's come back a little bit from that gain all the way to, uh, let's say, 1864. It's trading at 1853 right now, up 11. And to go with that, you've got the dollar finally pulling back enough to say that it's in a sell signal in the daily chart from the 105.01 high that was made just about seven sessions ago. It's going to be very important because if the dollar starts to find some support, that's one thing. But if it breaks under 102 or 10150, that's going to be negative. You've got the crude oil holding out case uh, down to 16 cents at 110. And you've got the TLT bonds uh, up. So it's off the low, but it's down 31 cents at 118.20. Uh, and at this particular point, it's just going sideways. I'll be back for the Tiger Conditions Hour. I hope you can say it should be a really interesting day today. And we've got a lot to discuss. See you soon.